So this video is going to be about backing up data from a PS3 and copying it to and from another. So to do this, you'll have to do this under the game menu on Save Data Utility PS3. Now one of the things you're going to need is first off you're going to need a USB key like this one here. It doesn't have to be a 64 gigabyte like the, the one that I got, but even a 2 gig flash drive will do. But you're going to need that, and then of course you're going to need your PS3. So what you're going to do is, first of all, plug the flash drive into your PS3, as you can see right there, it'll light up when you're, you've plugged it in. Now, you're going to go to the Game tab, and you're going to press Save Data Utility PS3. Now, right here, it should show your USB device that you plugged in, whatever one, and below it, whatever games you have saved data for on your console. Now, to back them up, what you're going to do is you're going to select any save file. You're going to hit triangle. You'll want to select the one you want, or if you have, and hit copy, or if you want to copy both of them, you can press copy multiple. Then you just check off the ones you want and hit OK. Now, you, now when you select the destination you want to copy it to, you just select your USB flash drive. And, it, and it's going to make me overwrite because I already had saved data on there before, but I've made further progress, so why not? So I'll hit overwrite and save, and then you hit yes, and now you just wait for this process to complete. If you have larger volumes of saved data and more, th more saved game files than this, this process may take a quite a bit of time, but it's faster to do it this way than to do the whole restore the whole entire PS3 system and back it up. So as you can see it's copying, so you just gotta wait till it's done. Since it may take a few more minutes and I don't want to make you guys wait all that, I'll pause the video and resume it when the copying is completed. And then I'll show you how to back up and save game data for for PlayStation 1 and 2 games that you have on an internal memory card. I'll do I'll demonstrate that with my Resident Evil 3 Nemesis save data. Okay, so as you can see, the copying is completed. So now, if you go and hit X on your flash drive, you'll see the two game files saved that you copied on there. Now, if you want to copy them back onto your PlayStation 3, you just hit copy, select the ones you want, hit OK and then it'll copy them back onto your PS3's hard drive. Now, for freeing up hard disk space to install other games, you want to go to this Game Data Utility option. And as you can see here, I haven't started saved progress on Resident Evil 6, but I do have the installation data from where I downloaded my DLC content and installed it on there as well as other games that you have installed onto your console. Now deleting these will not e erase your saved game progress. So you can delete those to make room to install other games that you want to play. Like say I wanted to install my Umbrella or Dark Side Chronicles or my Blood Rain game but I didn't have enough room and those were to take up the whole entire hard drive space, I would 
have to first delete one of these to make room to install those games. If that were actually the case, but fortunately it's not. Now, if you want to copy memory card data from an internal memory card, if you have downloads of PlayStation 1 and 2 games to save them, you will have to create internal memory cards. So what you would simply do is go under the internal memory card, select the saved game data file that you want to copy over, hit copy, and then you can select your USB device copy it over and there you go so that's all there really is to backing up save data on a flash drive and copying it to and from a PS3 this method is quicker and easier than it is to try to do that with the whole entire hard drive Anything that's not on my flash drive I can still retrieve in my downloads on the PSN store, plus the things that I have under photos, music, and stuff like that is already on my flash drive. You can copy you can copy vid videos over the sa same way, same thing with music and photos too. You just have to select the USB device under each of those tabs. But this that kind of goes outside the scope of what I was talking about but anyways I hope this video is useful to anyone watching feel free to like my channel and subscribe to me Stephen Code Black and have a good day